Hey guys, this is a video I'm making of my small reptiles I have, but I only have a few right now, but I'm definitely going to improve it right here. This is my leopard gecko, like seven years old, she's a girl, I named her Leo. She's very pretty, good color. I've had her for a while though, she eats very well. I'm going to be buying a mate soon. Alright, let's move on in a minute. Watch out, buddy. Hang on a second, guys. Alright, let's move on. I'm going to take you to the other room with some other animals. Alright, well, this is my water snake right here. Well, as you can see, he just, that's his tail right there, he just buried. I see him burrowing right there, I don't know if you can see him moving. Here, I'll try to get you to see him. Right. I don't know if you can see his head or not, but he's right here. I'm about to get him. He is my banded water snake. He's got very, very good color. And he just went in the tube. I'll get him out there for one second. Kind of like a ninja. He's about, I'm not sure, he's probably like a foot maybe. He's getting close to a foot though. But he eats fish, lizards, frogs. I feed him like pretty much everything. He eats it all. He's a pig too. Just a few minutes ago, when I started to make the video, he was chilling in the water. He was just relaxing in there. When I came back, he was done. Yep, he's my water snake. I cut him at the mud pit I used to go mudding at in my neighborhood. Well, my friend's neighborhood. But he's really cool. I've had him since he was little, so he's tame. And whenever I pick him up, he usually, after a while, when he calms down, he just lets, sits in your hand, coils up, and lets you pet him. I can hand feed him. He doesn't mind hand feeding either. Oh, yep, that's my snake. All right, now I'm going to move on to the three turtles here I have. These are my last things right here. Oh, look at him real quick. Yep, that's him. I haven't named him yet. I'm not sure what I'm going to name him either. Turn the lights on. That way we can possibly see the turtles. I don't think you can see him. Um, well, the one's in the corner pick them up for you guys. The other one's near him. Here's the one turtle. I named him Squirt. Forget what kind he is. I think he's a pond, pond cooter. I've had him for a pretty good bit. When my street flooded me, he somehow came. And I don't know where he came from, but caught him. And then caught this one the same spot I'm pretty sure he's a cooter too you can see they're very good colors they've been growing I've had them for a while then my snapper turtle is somewhere under that piece of tile he this is the little basket spot he hides down there nope never mind found him give me a second Oh, 
almost dead. Here's the... I think he's a snapping turtle. I'm not entirely sure, but it's not really showing his colors. Because I'm recording this on my iPhone, so you can't really see his colors. He's got little, like, brown markings on him, but... One time he stretched his head out really far and he bit me. He's like maybe a, he's like an inch probably, but he's got a big head and he's got like a it's like a beak his bottom. So if you guys know what he is, please comment tell me what he is. But yeah, they eat very well. They're good turtles to have. I recommend them. Well, you can see them a little better now. Well, you can't see them. That's their setup. And I'll show you guys my snake setup. This is what I have so far for him. I have the log. It's partially buried over here. I don't know if you can see that little hole right there on the right side near the log. And over right here, there's that little pocket. He hides behind these. I put a tube in there, which. He loves to just coil up in that and he just relaxes in there. And I just added the little piece of bark as a shade, make it a little bit darker in there, and he can climb on it if he wants. But that's cool. And I got him his water dish. Like I said, he relaxes in that. Just added that today too, see if he drinks in that. I got it half plain dirt and then half uh, the mulch for my, not mulch, but half repti bark for my leopard gecko. I put this in here because I still had some in the bag. I finished it off. It's actually right here. Yep, there's the bag. But he's a cool little snake. He's got very good colors. Look at his colors. Very good colors. I'm very happy I caught him. He's a really cool snake. He's a great new addition to have, and I am soon to be getting a mate for my other leopard gecko, and some other snakes, and my brother. And yeah, I'm going to be getting other lizards and snakes, and I'm soon going to turn my bedroom into a reptile room. Once I start to get some new stuff or anything else cool happens, I'll hit a, I'll make another video for you guys. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks guys, have a good day.